So one has to inquire, if you are not too tired, what is thinking? Probably you, nobody has asked this question. Very few people do. Don't wait for me to answer it. Look at it. Observe it. Thinking is part of memory, isn't it? Investigate it with the speaker, please. Don't sit there comfortably or uncomfortably. Thinking is part of memory, isn't it? If you had no memory at all, would you be able to think? You wouldn't. Our brain is the instrument of memory. Memory of things that have happened, experience and so on, the whole background of memory. The psyche, which is the me, and the me is the image I have built about myself. There is nothing spiritual about it. That's another ugly word, spiritual. Experience, knowledge, memory, and the response of memory is thought. Experience is always limited, naturally. Because it's a complicated question, because, oh gosh, everything is complicated. Is experience different from the experience of? Give your brains to me, find out. If there is no experience, sir, is there an experience? Of course not. So, the experience and the experience are, are the same. <laughs> like the observer and the observed. The thinker is not separate from his thoughts. The thinker is the thought. When you see this fact, this actuality, just to observe it, in yourself, not move away from the reality of it, from the truth of it, to hold it, to remain in it, not run away from it, not rationalize it is so. And then it's like holding a precious jewel in your hand. See all the beauty of it. Jewel. Then you will see for yourself that fear psychologically completely ends. And when there is no fear, you are free.